What you got? Oh, double, double toppy. Nice. Oh. Uh. What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. We got Roy Boy. Today we're fishing. We're fishing today. No diving, no whipping, fishing. We're gonna be using a uh, electric reels. We're gonna try, try like a D dropping. We're not too sure. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we get something. After that, I don't know. We have our other poles, other reels. We're gonna see what we can make something happen. First time here, hit the subscribe. And as always, hit the like button. We have to we have to pick our four uh, giveaway winners from last week's video. Um, and then, uh, like I said, like last week, we're having a giveaway every week. There's another giveaway in this week's video. There should be like four giveaways, I think, in this week's video. I'll not set down what the giveaways are, or somewhere in between. You have to watch. I don't know. But the first winner we're gonna give away is we're gonna give away that fanny pack, the high fish gear fanny pack, the one for whipping or fishing. And here's the winner for that. So. That's our first giveaway of the day. Keep watching, and we'll also have the three winners as we go. Yeah, so thumbs up for good luck. Right there, save a dolphin if you can. First drop of the day, right there, coming down. About 700 feet of water. And this is just gonna hit the bottom, right? A five foot grade. So when they see the bottom, which you are. And then uh, bring out the bottom. That's pretty much it. Roy Boy is using a a Daiwa Seaborg, same thing. And then Shimano Beastmaster. Let's see what happens. Drop number two. So we're fishing like 800 feet of water. So electric reels are key for this kind of fishing. Mine's in meters. Electric reels are key for this type of fishing because you don't want to be cranking all day. I actually got this reel from uh, highfishgear.com. <laughs> like seriously, I got this reel from highfishgear.com. I used my raw five discount code. If you shop highfishgear.com for any kind of fishing stuff, uh, it's discount code RAH5, you get 5% off, and that's how I bought this reel. 5% off, just like you guys. So you can either hold the line or you can watch the bounce on the pole. Or you watch the bounce, because we don't have gloves. So I don't cut my hands with the braid. Also, you need braid for this type of fishing. You can't use regular mono. It's so deep, you're not going to see the, the, the line will stretch so much, you won't see the bite. So you got to use braid for sure. No bites on this drift, so we're going to bring the lines back up. I'm going to try and move spots. Try again. But. This is also an electric reel. Look at this. There's nothing we have to do. You just watch it. Just watch it. Right, Roy? Yeah. Just watch it. So Roy boy has no patience. Bottom fish your electric reels. He's like, let's go already. I'm over it. Zero bites. We're going to go hit the reef first. Right there. We need to get something in the boat first. So we're going to hit the reef first. Get some fish in the boat. After that, we're going to come back and we're going to electric reel some more. But we got to get some fish in the boat first. So we move spots, put away the electric reels for a little while. All right, so we're gonna try to do some bottom fishing. Yeah, you, uh, we're gonna try to do some bottom fishing. We're gonna use some uh, prairie tails. These are Campania, Campanella. You can get these on high fish gear. Use the raw five discount code. And honestly, I know when I go North Shore or Haleiwa, or Haleiwa or Wanai side, kind of point, this is the money one right here. I don't know what this is called. I forget the name. But we're gonna use two Campania lures. I'm gonna try it out. Okay. Super, super simple rig. I got BKN number 14 hook. And we're just gonna slide it down the tip. Like so. F uh, 15 pound fluorocarbon. And it's just a regular six ounce lead and about a foot and a half in between each hook, just two hooks. Super simple setup. 80 feet of water. Looking for the dozer. Oh, is that the dozer? Oh. We have touchdown. So they see the bottom. Now we're just gonna keep bouncing on the bottom. Roy has lots of spots, right? Tons of spots, okay? Everywhere Roy Roy is like, this is my spot over here. This is an unbelievable spot. Apparently Roy's spots were all good like four years ago. <laughs> Not so much anymore, huh, Roy? Yeah, nope. They're all like four years ago spots. Nick's bad luck. <laughs> Bachi. Like, this spot's super good, like four years ago. It was good. At one point. <laughs> okay! All the right. competition. Ah. Roy has a Tupperware full of curly worms. Curly tails. Holy crap. Oh. So what are these, Roy? Walmarts. Uh, 
Yeah. Walmart. It's Walmart edition, bro. It's like diving too. Every time you hit the bomb, you dust the bomb, the fish come in. The lead kind of has that same effect. Every time you bounce the lead, it makes a splash or a puff that attracts the fish. And that's why it's important to hit the bottom. It does a few purposes. It attracts the fish. And the other thing it does is uh, it stops you from getting tangled if you fall in a hole. If you're just dragging, you might get stuck. Don't say you have a chance to pull it out of the hole. Oh, Roy is on. See it, Roy, what you got? Roy is on. Show us that hog, you Roy. Oh, nice one. Oh, what a nice table, boss. Nice one. The best eating fish on the reef right there. Hands down, the best eating fish on the reef. Good job, Roy. Oh, Roy, as soon as I hit the bottom, Roy. As soon as I hit the bottom. As soon as I hit the bottom, Roy. Oh, I gotta loosen my drag, I gotta loosen my drag. This is something good, Roy. Oh. Oh, I just hit the bottom and hit. Oh, what is that? Oh, right there. What was it? Barracuda? Yeah. yeah. Took my hook. Oh, it's a whole school. Huh? They took my hook. Yeah, so it's like a barracuda, type of barracuda. Except for they cut your line. Good ah, fight. 15 pound test cut. Not good at all. Not good. And the city got, the city got. Mine cut line, I gotta retie. Oh! I thought, I thought it was a Vecula at first. Really? From the angle, I was like, oh, but I'm colorblind too, so. <laughs> nice one. So here we go, I just got done retying my hook again. Using a Shimano Therese uh, pole with my uh, oh my, my Shadok 5000 reel. I'm not Shadok, is it Shadok? Yeah, it's a Shadok, Shadok 5000 reel. And Roy's back on, so let's see what Roy got. Nice one, so big one, good going. Good going, Roy boy. At least you're catching something. Yep, that works. With the bait, take a step to your right, Roy. Oh, oh, I got a bite too, I got a bite too. I dropped it on my yeah, tip. Yeah, bring it, bring it, bring it. No, I gotta catch this video first. Oh, top it. That's something out too. Yeah, yeah right at the top it. I probably got a top it too. If you got a top it, I probably got a top it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love it. Top it. Top it Invasive species. Invasive species, but good eating fish for sure. Well, you put yours in a fish box? Where's yours? Little boy's back on. What you got? Oh, double, double toppy. Nice. Oh! Ugh. Good size toppy. The, the toppy are healthy over for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna make some beer batter toppy. Oh, yeah, you filet Oh, yeah, beer batter toppy. Roy's got a real one. Oh. Is a good bounce to it, huh? Yeah. What, what is it? I don't think it's a top. It's fighting all the way up, huh? You see it? Oh, that's a nice one, Roy. Oh, that's a doze right there. Yeah, you, that's a good one. The best eating fish on the reef right there. So Roy Boy's doing the, the, the bag technique. Ziploc bag technique. Hey, gotta improvise. Yeah, all kinds of fish, all kinds of fish you have. Bring lots of ice, bind your fish, take care of your fish. I'm glad you caught two table wash, Roy. Huh? I'm glad you caught two table wash. Because that means I can't have one. <laughs> can I go with you? Because he's not really catching much today. Yeah, I need to make a video, that's why. We got two table boss and like 10 toppings. Roy Boy brought out the secret weapon for bait. So I dropped it, got a bite, but I think it came off. We have cut up Owama. Baby goatfish. Yeah, it's got something on. Not top hit, I don't know what it is. Oh, Ooh, that's a good size. Gotta be seven inches. Do I want to it? That's legal size. All right, we'll take him home. Robo got a real one on. Oh, it came nice, yeah, Ricky. Oh, what the? Dude. What the Owama? You want to? Dude, this is a torture right right here. Thumbs up for good luck. And here's our second giveaway winner for today. This is for the 
Mark White Lure. Here's the winner for the Mark White Lure. Roy Boy's the winner! <laughs> Roy, you didn't enter the contest, Roy. You can't win. So that's our winner. Oh, got? oh nice one. Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> so that's our second giveaway winner of the day. <laughs> I got 300 gift cards from High Fish to give away. He said, thanks for all the support from everybody from the channel. He's not he's using a raw five code, so he knows the, he knows guys on his channel is using the codes, right? So he gave me 300 gift cards, which is epic. Oh, so thanks to Bill again for the 300 gift cards, which I'm giving to you guys this video, and then next week's video, like I said, we're giving away one every week with a bunch of other prizes. At the end of the video, today's video, I'll tell you what we're giving away next week. It's gonna be like another three or four, maybe five prizes next week again. Like I told you, the month of December, we're giving it back to you guys. Scare ourselves in our fish, throw a thumbs up. Honestly, I prefer the thumbs up more than anything. Hit the thumbs up. I always like thumbs up. It motivates me. I got like 40 in this video right now. We need more than that. Oh my God, that's a real one. Oh, on the drop, look at that. Cause you guys get a thumbs up. That's why this happened. I'm telling you guys now. I'm a firm believer in that. That thumbs up from you guys right here. It's the good luck. Oh, Roy, I got a double right here, Roy. Double right here, look at that. Oh, Roy's on two. Ah, I'm still on toppies. <laughs> We're both on. What you got, what you got, Roy? Toppy? Oh, monocoli. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, monocoli. <laughs> oh, my monocoli turned yellow on me. Doubles, doubles. Hey, your Whoa, almost fell in, <laughs> almost fell in. All right, thanks you guys for the thumbs up, see? That's what we're talking about. No, nothing wrong with catching this. This is the most surprise fish in the Hawaii catch, but you know, it, it is an invasive species, so it's always nice whenever you can take something like this off the reef. And I think today's catch and cook at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a recipe with toppies. I have something planned that's gonna be super good. I was filming live for YouTube, doing a live video, and Roy caught a couple of toppies at 12, I was live, so. My guys are watching live, saw that, but unfortunately, I don't have the footage on here. The little walmart, yeah, we came out a little bit deeper. We're at about 125 feet of water. Oh, got him. Yeah, I got him on. Oh, that's a good, that's probably a big ass hoggy. Oh. What's that? Yeah, you. Oh, that's a big trumpet fish, huh? I eat that. You want it? I keep it. You want it? Yeah. Dude, that's a big trumpet fish. Look at that thing. Look at the size of that trumpet fish. Look at that state record trumpet fish, Roy boy. The biggest trumpet fish ever. It's good, yeah. Oh, we got suction issues. <laughs> nice. That's a nice one. Good job, Roy boy. Look at that slime, though. Toppy kings today. Yeah? Yeah. All our live moanas. We're not going to use them. And they're undersized to keep to eat anyway, so we're going to let them go. See you guys later. Almost dropped your net. Almost dropped your net. <laughs> what is up, my rich crew? We're back at home. So you guys can see we didn't catch anything. Trying to do what we're trying to do at the end. So that's why you saw us back at home. For the up here. That we do a catch and cook with. I'm gonna show you something unique, something different. Something that's probably gonna be super good. We're gonna do top because it is white meat, it is invasive species. We're actually gonna do a ceviche with the top and I'm gonna show you how to jazz it up just a little bit more. Uh, but before we start doing our catch and cook, we have our third giveaway. The third giveaway is the, the mask, the Venture Wetsuits Gold Pro Mask. Here's the winner for that right here. And uh, I guess that's the one for the GoPro mask. So the last giveaway we're going to do at the end is the giveaway for the 100 gift card to highfishgear.com. Uh, and uh, I'll announce at the very end of the video what the other four giveaways are or five giveaways are for next week's video. And you can all enter into that. But first, let's go get these fish all cleaned up. Flay them off, get all the bones deboned, and get into nice little white chunks. And I'll show you how to do our, our ceviche. We'll see. It comes out. Should come out good. It came out good when I did in the past. We'll see this time. Thumbs up for good luck. Hopefully, it comes out good. And here we go. So all we're trying to do right here is just get the flays off. All I need is two knives. 
This is a Victory Nix knife. They make a Dexter knife just like it. And this is a Dexter, a fillet knife. So super flexible. And this is gonna help with the tricky part. I'll put links in the box for this stuff because this is this is a good knife to have. But all we're gonna do is we're just gonna pre-cut it for now. We'll make a cut up here. We don't wanna cut all the way through because we don't wanna cut the stomach. And then we'll cut along this back spine right here. I did not scale this fish. This fish still has scales on it. I'll do a cut right by the tail. Okay, flip it over, cut by the tail, angle cut from the head going back. There we go. Head going back. And then another pre-cut right here. And the reason these pre-cuts are, are, are key is because if I only pre-cut one side, I take off this fillet. When I go take off the other fillet, it's a lot harder because the fish is going to be like at a different angle. Normally, I don't ever wet fillets with this kind of fish. What we're doing today, it's okay if the fillet gets wet. I'm just going to keep buying that bone the whole way down. That's it for that side. So you see there, clean fillet, the guts and ribs are all intact. And then like I said, if we have to try pre-cut this and get this fillet off when it's like this, it's at a weird angle. That's why we pre-cut it first. It's already pre-cut, already ready to go. So get the fillet off again. Okay. And that's it. This right here is throwaway or crab bait. The key thing with this knife, because it's flexy, you see it? There's scales on this, okay? You don't want to go against the green, you want to go with the scales. Take a little notch off the front and try to ride it. Tried it, and we take the meat right off. There's our skin. Same thing again. Right in front, grab some meat. Take off this fillet. And it's two fillets off. The only place that really is bones on these tapi are going to be right here by its rib area. So we'll just cut that out. There's no other real bones. You just feel it. There's no other real bones in the fillet. So this is all edible right here. So we're gonna be making ceviche. The first step of ceviche is soaking. It takes the longest. You're looking at about two, three hours prep time after you make it, okay? Half an onion diced up. And we have about maybe half a pound of fish. About there, half a pound of fish. Probably could use maybe a quarter onion for a month, this amount of fish. But we're just gonna dice it up now. There's no bones in it at all. And then uh, what makes this fish so good for this? It's a white fish, right? So preferably with ceviche, you wanna use white fish. I'm just gonna dice it up. Nothing too fancy. Just get it all diced up. So we have our onion, like I said, a half a small onion and about a half a pound of fish. So we're just gonna throw the fish into the bowl. A faster. And all you wanna do, you need limes. About a, I'd say about a cup of lime for this, maybe a little more. But you wanna soak everything, okay? I bought lime because this is only three dollars. The lime's like a dollar one. I probably need like ten limes, so this is a lot easier. <laughs> Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do is this is the first step. We gotta um we're gonna put it in the fridge, we're gonna cover it up, we're putting the fridge for probably about three hours. It says a lot of the recipe say four hours, but I've done it in the past. I've done it in the past just like this for like 30 minutes and eat it, but we'll go for the full effect. We'll give it for about ah three hours or so. So we'll come back, we'll let this guy soak, and we'll see you shortly. So now it's time to do the 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 wrappers. We're gonna do this in wrappers, okay? So I meant to buy wonton wrappers, about mandu wrappers. I don't think much of a difference. We're just gonna fry them up, put them in the oil, make them crunchy. We'll finish our ceviche off after this, and then uh, we'll put on your plate on here and get ready for something super good. So let's go fry these up. The wonton wrapper will puff up and crunchy the way I want it, but the mandu wrapper is a little different. Like a little pouch, a little pouch of love. Okay, so we just got done frying our wonton chips here. Well, no, not the mandu chips. The wonton chips would be a lot better, I think. They'd be a lot more crunchy, but these are actually pretty crunchy. So I think it came out pretty good. A little wonton bolts or mandu bolts, mandu bolts. So we have our, I drained it all. I drained all the liquid out. It's been about three hours, four hours. I drained all the liquid. All I did to it, which I didn't show you, is I added uh, one teaspoon of sugar. I tasted it. Uh, was good and I added just a little salt and it's all drained pretty much there's a little liquid in there but I think that's from the sugar being added to it afterwards and the salt but it's all good in there already and before we start cooking I was like to go with the times since uh since we're doing some kind of like a I guess Mexican I guess that's the right terminology for it go to Corona and I made sure I see the little lime so we have your beer cheers to you Oh, that's lovely. Okay, super simple. 
All that's in here so far is sugar, sugar, uh, salt, the fish, the tapi, which was four tapi, and a half a lemon, I mean half a orange, onion. I like tomatoes, so I diced up three small tomatoes. You can do two, two would probably be better, but I did three small tomatoes. A half a bunch of cilantro. You can put avocado in this if you want to. And instead of putting sugar like I did, you could have put some orange juice or pineapple juice, but I didn't have any of that. So I just added a little sugar. To me, this is a super, super healthy meal. Super healthy. There's a little sugar in there. But like I said, you can put a little orange juice or, or pineapple juice. But this is a super, super healthy meal right here. I tried the fish afterwards when it was just soaking. Let's, let's go and plate it out. We're going to make it look super pretty. So let's plate it out. You should have caught on ceviche tostadas. I will just put a little radish sprout, just to top it off to add a little, to add a little color to it. The only thing left to do now is to eat it. Tell me that doesn't look good. I wish I'd had one ton wrappers versus mandu wrappers, but it don't work. And this is just radish sprouts. <laughs> this should be the only way from now on you top it. If you fry it, you're wasting it. Ceviche. You don't have to do the wrappers. You can do just regular chips, whatever you want. But it's perfect. It's like super perfect. It has a little tart, a little sweet. It has a crunch to it without the wrapper. But the vegetables are super fresh. Oh my god. Oh. Super good. If you're still watching, and you're still here, here's the winner for a 100 gift card right here. Congratulations, $100 gift card is yours. Message me on Instagram. All the winners, if you win, message me on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, I'm sure you know someone does have Instagram, message me on Instagram to win. Um, two weeks to claim your prize. If you don't claim it by Christmas, if you don't claim it by Christmas, it's going back up to the wolves. So we gave away the four giveaways. Um, next week's video too, four more giveaways, okay? We're gonna give away, uh, Another hundred gift card from High Fish Gear again. Thank you very much to Bill. If you haven't checked their website out, you have to check their website out. Highfishgear.com. Use the raw fight discount code. And because of the feedback he has with the raw fight discount code, that's why he gives me this kind of stuff to give you guys. I have another Markway lure that I bought from High Fish Gear. We're giving that up for a giveaway. Uh, I bought a bunch of wet, uh, Venture Wetsuit masks. We're going to give one another Venture Wetsuit mask. Tony from Venture Wetsuits donated a Venture Wetsuit backpack. The, um, I think the taco one, the one that you can't get no more at all. We're giving that up, so that's four prizes, and uh, I'll give a trolling lure away, okay? I'll pick a trolling lure, something super good, epic. I'll scare it free, and I'll send you that also. Everything was sent to you for free, where we live, okay? Unless you live, like, Dubai or something, because <laughs> I'll probably ship it. It'll probably be expensive, but I'll probably ship it. So five prizes next week, four this week, claim your prizes, five next week. Hit the like. All I ask you guys to do is just hit the like button. Please, please hit the like. Hit the subscribe. If you want to donate to my trigger fund, there's a link in my bio. You can donate a dollar to a trigger fund if you want. Yeah, I don't think we'll get enough donations to get it, but we'll see. Who knows, okay? To be entered to win, all you have to comment is Merry Christmas. That's it. That's it. It's my Christmas present to you guys. Thank you to Adventure Wetsuits and High Fish Gear for definitely donating some stuff. Um, comment Merry Christmas and comment what you would like. I mean, what, what what are you looking for? You know, if you if you don't mind all of them, just cut it all. I'll take everything you're giving away. If you're like, ah, I'm mostly a troller, I only want the trolling lure, then comment Merry Christmas and put lure or trolling lure, whatever you want, so I know, okay? Alright guys, as always, tight line, stay fishing, I'll see you on the water or under the water. Thanks again to Roy Boy for making this trip possible like usual. And don't think when I get the new boy, you're not gonna see Roy Boy no more, because Roy Boy is coming on the green machine for sure. That's not the name though, but Roy Boy is coming on the green boat for sure. We already talked about it. A lot. You're gonna see a lot of Roy Boy. Uh, but Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week, Sunday, 7 p.m. As always, hello, guys. Ceviche tacos, I'm telling you. Not any tacos, just ceviche. Tape, huh? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. You want one? You want beer? Good? Yeah.